Hi, and welcome to the final piece of this skin retouching tutorial. This is a section where we're going to focus on dodging and burning, and how to correct blemishes such as these on the skin without using the clone tool, but just adjusting the lightness levels, the luminosity levels of the skin in general. If you look, we've already looked at, gone and touched all the skin around this area. If I turn the two layers off, we bring all the blemishes back in. Turn them back on again. You see we've eliminated those just by ad adjusting two curves layers. So we're going to zoom right in now. And we have two curves. Our dodge curve set to lighten. And our burn curve set to darken. Another thing that we're going to use, and we're only going to use this temporarily, is a black and white layer which helps us to identify the variations in the skin tone much more easily and gives us that it um, gives us effectively a map to focus on. So all that we're going to do now is brush away the masks. We'll start with the dodge layer so we'll start looking at those areas that are in shadow and bring those out. Brush selected, mode set to normal, opacity to 100%, flow to 10% and set our foreground colour to white. And then we start bringing up these layers and these levels to match the surrounding area. It's a very slow, very soft, gentle process. It's not a very quick solution. If you want a quick solution, there are alternatives out there, but they're not so effective when you want to start blowing these images up to very large size when you're not retaining the skin texture and everything starts looking like it's plastic or like the model, the sitter is a porcelain doll. So we're very, very gently brushing away these levels and these layers to start neutralizing the high points. Taking away the shadows. And then in a second, we're going to switch over and select the burn tool or the burn layer for our curve. And we're going to come and do exactly the opposite and look at all of those points which are darker, sorry, which need to be darker. There we are, switching over, and now we're going to darken these areas. Remember, because we're just working here with masks, we can go back and remove any change that we've made just by painting over in the opposite colour. Just paint the mask back in. If the results give us something that we don't like, paint the mask back in. Start again. And this course will take time. And we are going backwards and forwards, back and forth between the two layers softening everything down. And as you can see, it's starting to bring everything much smoother, much neater. We can start to take away these freckles and these different variations, almost like sun damage, we can correct. And remembering that this black and white layer gives us a much more exaggerated view of what's going on in the skin than it does when we have the flesh tones back visible. So we always switch back and take a look. And we can see now that these areas have gone a little bit too light. Huh? We can address that. First we make sure that we've not over dodged. Brush the mask back in just in case we've gone over there too far. And that's showing us that these are still high points that need to be burnt in. Come back with the burn tool. Very gently start to brush them in. Nothing too aggressive. And over time, you'll start to build up much more natural representation 
of nice smooth skin, evenly textured. So there we are, and that's very quickly addressing those blemishes that are here. We will obviously spend more time going back and back and back over, over these until we get to the point of perfection, but we want to keep this tutorial fairly, fairly short. The other thing that we can look at is addressing the lines. Now if we look at this model's eyes, we've already been and given these some treatment here. If we turn the layer off, all of the lines that we see here that we can now start to eliminate have been taken out with this curve layer just by softening it. So let's look at that again in close up. If we eliminate the mask, and you can see that the most of this has been done on the burn layer, sorry, on the dodge layer. Get rid of the marquee, and we'll look at this line here. So select our brush again. Select the dodge layer, shrink the brush down, and just start brushing out that line. You can see it disappearing. All that we're doing is making it so that the shadow of that line is much less noticeable. So we still retain the skin texture Never forget that the skin does have texture, the skin does have pores, it does have a texture to it. And by eliminating all of that texture, you get a very unnatural, very plastic look. And that's not what we're looking to achieve here. Now these are the reasons that these things take time, because we have to brush these in individually. There is no quick fix for this. Patience is a virtue. And there we are. So we've just taken out that line it underneath the eye very, very quickly. Some of these darker patches as well, where the skin is naturally a little bit darker, we can brush these out and lift these out. The same goes for the freckles. If we look at freckles around the eye here, we can brush these out very quickly. So if you have a job that requires you to move freckles, or if you have a sitter that doesn't like their freckles, you can use this technique to start brushing them away. We toggle the black and white layer back on again. You can see that actually some of these areas look quite dramatic under black and white, but when we take the black and white layer away, they blend in very nicely. So. This is the dodge and burn technique using curved layers. There are a couple of other dodge and burn techniques which I'll go through on other tutorials, but this is probably the most commonly used one. Thank you for your time. I hope you found it useful and check back soon for some more tutorials on skin correction.